Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy Alb, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best win build right now. And honestly, I think win is just broken and broken in general. But hey, listen, a lot of people wanted the win build. And then we're gonna do the earth build, and you know we're gonna keep it rocking. But in today's video, this is the win build. Yo, make sure I leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 8K subscribers. Just make sure that happened, guys. And you know, let's get straight into it. But wait, we always gotta play the intro, of course. Now enjoy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back. All right, nice. Now let's get straight into this. Let's get straight into this. No cap. No cap, a Rooney. You can't. Bro, my chair keeps hitting the wall. All right, no cap, a Rooney. Let's get straight into it, though. All right. First thing is first. You will need this staff. This staff is a part of the build. The staff is a part of the build, bro. Staff is part of the build. You will need to see a few couple of items within this, you know, video. First and foremost, we will show you exactly where this is. Now, the subclass flight and projection you do not need, but if you want to make it extra and you want to be a little, you know, extra while you fight, you can use it, and I'll show you why. Because the one anno the I'll tell you this, bro. Windbenders have to be the most annoying things to fight within this game because of flight. Bro, they made it so easy for you to move around, it's ridiculous. I think I think every subclass should be able to like really like have an air movement just to keep up a win. To be honest with you, like for me, I feel like you should learn an ability called like I don't know, like jet propulsion. It's like you have like flames in your feet, like Shinra, and you know, you just be going crazy and you can stay in the air for as long as, you know, flight um, flight users can. Sorry about that. Currently 7:25 in the morning. Still haven't slept yet. I'm trying to get these videos out for y'all. So you know, make sure y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe. Working hard on these. Um, yeah, but this is where you get the the staff from. It's a it's a blue. It's called the blue wind staff. I think so. so I think that's what it's called. Yeah, blue glider. There we go. It's called blue glider. So there's two. There's two. There's two staffs that you can buy. You can buy this, the orange glider, and you get the blue glider, which draws from that boss right there that I just showed y'all. This armor right here, you can you know acquire this armor from the wind raid, and as you can see, the southern temple's right over there. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get there? You have to be 105 to see the island, or you can get you know somebody that's like super high level to bring you there, but you will also just need to be 105 to even do the raid, you know, to even stand a chance without dying. I would you know advise you to just be a decent level. And another thing that you'll need, well, these are the stats that I'm running currently. I'm running 180 health. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running 220 um, element because wind, wind is broken. You don't really need that much element within wind, especially if you have the mythic armor. And then I'm running um, 50 stamina, especially if you have the mythic armor, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you can have a decent amount of health because this armor doesn't give as much health as the prodigy armor you know so if you i want to be able to keep up so that's the build that i'm running with this and what else i feel like i'm telling you everything oh another thing so if you have flight the reason why i say flight would be op is because you have this move right here that's an auto aim move and you can fly in the air with it and let that you know attack people and trust me it does a lot of, a lot of damage bro. a lot you know I me? Mean? So you can just be flying in the air, be mad annoying, dwab, just bobbing and weaving, weaving and bobbing. And look, it's already cooled down again, and you can just pop it again. You can literally just sit there, farm people with it, and you know, just be annoying. But yeah, and it's it's literally auto aim. So if I want to be, I really hate air, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, Airbenders, man. I swear, it's just it's so brain dead, dude. This is, it's so brain dead. This, 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 uh, bro, it's brain dead, dude. Yo, make sure I leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this build and if, you know, there's something you would have done different. But personally, I like my build like this. It's, it feels great. You know, have a decent amount of health. 
wind already does a shit ton of knockback and damage, bro. Like literally, I can one shot people. I can one shot bosses with this. Like, it's insane. Um, yeah, and shield. Nothing could get through shield. I I, I dropped a video out on how to get through it, but you can get through it. But it's like, bro, you gotta be like quick on your like. You really gotta be quick, quick, bro. Like, you can't just be slacking and then get caught with that. Especially when you in PvP, bro. If you get caught in a corner with that, bro, they could literally hold that until you die. So, be careful. But yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. I think they should nerf that. Um, you know, like I like to say, bro, brush your head, take care. And I'll catch you on the next one. Eek is out.